months after the pandemic began, there is still so much we don't know about COVID-19. New things are being discovered every day. For example, this. Some scientists have just found that the virus can impact a man's fertility. News Nation correspondent Brian Etten live in Miami with how COVID-19 lingers in men even after they've recovered from it. Brian. Yeah, Rob, this is really a disturbing study, and you said it. We're always hearing that there's so much we don't know about this virus, and this would definitely fit into that category. Researchers here at the University of Miami have been studying men with COVID and say that it could have an impact on fertility and that it could be sexually transmitted. Scientists know that more men get sick and die from COVID-19 than women do. And researchers at the University of Miami say they have determined one of the reasons why. Because of its high affinity of the virus to the testes. Dr. Ranjith Ramasamy and his team discovered COVID-19 invades men's testicles. They tested the reproductive organs of men who died from COVID and found the virus inside the testes. But what surprised them even more is when they tested a living man who recovered from COVID-19, the virus was still inside his testicles. This we were very surprised with because even after the infection was cleared, he had some fevers and cold that he got better with on its own. And then six weeks or eight weeks later, after his initial infection, he tested negative. And then the virus was still present in the testes. And this was surprising because we found that the, test, that the virus could probably linger in the testes a lot longer than men uh, actually develop their symptoms. Researchers say this explains why 10 to 20% of men with COVID-19 have testicular pain. Future studies will determine whether COVID-19 impacts male fertility. Patients who want to have kids in the future who haven't completed their families, I think certainly that is, an, uh, that is a rationale for their sperm production and their fertility potential to be affected. And I think we're urging men who either develop testicular pain or who want to have uh, families in the future to think about checking their uh, sperm count to make sure they have healthy and viable sperm. And research is ongoing to determine whether COVID-19 is sexually transmitted. I don't think we know the answer to that question definitively yet. But the fact that it is present in the testis gives us a clue that it can, be, can enter the seminal fluids and can be sexually transmitted. And that is certainly a side effect that we don't hear much about, but it's documented. 10 to 20% of men with COVID do have testicular pain. Uh, that doctor says if you have pain and you have COVID and you're worried about your sperm count, the best thing to do is to make an appointment with a urologist. Live in Miami, Brian Enton, News Nation.